So rather than do a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to distribute your music like I've done in this video here, I thought today I could focus more so on the different options that you have when considering how to distribute your music. Different artists have different needs. What some people might look for in a distribution company, others might not. Now I'm gonna separate this video into different categories. And if you wanna go ahead and skip to the different ones that I outlined in the video, I'll leave some timestamps down below. First and foremost, one of the most favorable types of services out there to distribute are free ones. <laughs> The reason why this is on my list and why I'm sure a lot of you would consider is because of the fact that it is cost effective. It doesn't cost anything. Now, one that immediately comes to my mind is the first one that I ever heard about, which is Amuse. Now, of course, since I've discovered Amuse initially, they have added two paid options to their service, but they do still have their free option here. Now, normally with free options on any distribution site, there is a catch. There's something that you have to give up. In the case of Amuse, there's a few things that you have to consider. You only get 12 releases per year. The time that it takes to release your songs takes four weeks, whereas other platforms that I'm gonna show on this list can take up to two days. So that is a pretty lengthy amount of time. However, you're supposed to be releasing your stuff four weeks in advance anyway, if you're a good artist, <coughs> unlike myself. They're also taking about 15% of your YouTube content ID matches, so they will scan stuff on YouTube if people are using your content and stuff, but the money that you get from that they're taking a cut off the top in addition to what YouTube is taking off the top. So you can see how a free option like this can kind of give you a bit of a headache. Now it's not all negative news. Amuse has been home of a few big name artists that you probably know, such as the Black Eyed Peas or the iconic Old Town Road by Lil Nas X. Amuse also offers select record deals to people who bring in the numbers as well as having an app that you can release your music with on the go. There is, however, another free way to distribute your music on your own, and that is going to be by way of today's sponsor, Koji. Koji is a really dope link and bio service for musicians that helps us to kind of curate our music, our content, and our socials all in one place. In my experience using Koji and coming from another service, solo.to, which I actually paid a year in advance for and I kind of regret. <laughs> I can say that 100% I prefer a Koji link in bio because of the different features that they offer from being able to customize your profile with videos in the background, which I am a huge fan of, as you can see. Even the look of your profile, the way that your buttons are shaped, and most importantly, the apps that you can add to your profile to help drive engagement, make sales with your music, and different things that musicians can benefit from. We're getting tools to engage with our fans via ways like a personal shout out or even custom messages in an address book, and even a way to distribute our music directly to our fans huh, for the cost of zero dollars. Now, is this option going to put your music on Spotify, on Apple Music? No, it's not gonna do that. You're still gonna need to get somebody to handle that for you in that regard. But let's say you wanna make an exclusive release that only your diehard fans can get, or you wanna create an experience around a release that's going to be on these streaming services just to build a little bit more hype around it. In this case, you can use Koji's Locked Audio app to upload the songs that you wanna sell directly to your fans. Now I know what you're thinking because this happens every time I tell people about how to sell your music directly to your fans instead of just uploading it to streaming services. Who's really buying music these days? Oh, nobody's doing that. What I would recommend you doing is uploading your songs to your Koji profile with Locked Audio. You can set the price to whatever you want, even if it's a free download, and then have people come to your profile you can put it as one of the buttons at the top so it gets the most attention, which is what I did with my demos here. So instead of having to get 30 million streams just to make a dollar, <laughs> you can make one sale and make $10. I do have to preface this by saying if you don't have the biggest audience, then you can't expect to get tons of sales or make a living off of your Koji profile or your music in your Koji profile. You have to build that audience in order to do that, but it has to start somewhere. And since it's a free service, you can start without worrying about, oh, I'm wasting my money on something that's not gonna give me a return. You're not wasting any money because it's literally 100% free to use. There are cases where people who have built a really strong audience have made millions of dollars selling their music directly to fans. And one of the main examples of this that I can personally think of is Ryan Leslie. He earned $2 million selling directly to 
You don't need the biggest audience in the world. Give yourself a chance to build up to that. Once you kind of build your audience, once you start posting more on Instagram, on your social media, and then they can just check out all your music right here. And since I'm here, I do wanna do an Ask Me Anything. So now that we're talking about this, if you guys have any questions that you wanna ask me about literally anything, I'm gonna include my Koji Ask Me Anything link in my Koji profile. So drop me a question about this video, drop me a question about what I ate this morning, <laughs> I don't care. I would love to do uh, Ask Me Anything video. I haven't done one of those in years. Just check the link in the description to make your free profile today. Once you finish doing that, make sure you tag your profile in the comments below. I'll be checking every last one of them out. Another type of distribution service that I wanna talk about is one that offers promotional features, ways that you can promote your music after you've distributed with them. And the main one is gonna be DistroKid because they offer a lot of tools that help people to post their stuff on social media, whether it be a video, a photo, DistroKid is one of the biggest platforms out there to use to distribute your music to streaming platforms. They're one that I've used in some of my recent releases, not the most recent one though. And one of these tools is gonna to be the mini videos. So they have different templates that you can use. Obviously everybody else gets access to these templates. So the likelihood that somebody else is going to be using the same art as you is very high. But if you don't really care about that, then this, that doesn't really matter that much. You come in here and you select one of the different uh, templates that they have and preview them here. I've already done this with a different template that they have. I used the one with the blood on it. But you can see how easy it is and how fast it is to get something like this. You just download it and then you use that to upload to your Instagram, your TikTok, whatever you want to upload it to. But my favorite thing about the promo aspect of DistroKid is gonna be the promo cards, because in my opinion, they look better than the video section that they offer. So you just do the same thing here. Whatever songs you've released with DistroKid, that is one of the things that you have to remember. You have to release a song with DistroKid to be able to do this. But you would come here, select the song. Let's go with Orboros Epilogue. We have our song right there. I can even go wipe it off the screen. Maybe Vancouver's the move is really true though. Yeah. That's cool. That's really cool. Next up is going to be the creative distribution company, the one that focuses on the creation process, the music production. I would say that there's only one that I know of that does this, and it would be, of course, Lander. This is a platform that I would say is geared towards the all around creative who wants access to as many things as they can get their hands on that's going to help their creative process from the creation of the song to the release of the song for a cheap monthly price or yearly price. The good thing about Lander is even if you stop paying on their monthly subscription or their yearly subscription, your music is not going to be taken down, which I cannot say the same for other services on this list like <laughs> DistroKid. The moment you stop paying for DistroKid, unless you've paid an extra $30 on your release, your music is gonna be removed. They have a revolutionary AI mastering service where you upload your songs and a robot masters your songs for you. <laughs> They've got their set of plugins, Chromatic here, which is an instrument that you can use to play to create music in a very, very easy and streamlined way. They've got Lander Effects, which is different effects that you can add to your vocals, you can use to mix your songs. And of course, they've got their royalty-free sample packs, which is an extensive list of all kinds of samples you can use to produce music without you know, the hassle of trying to come up with ideas for yourself if you're not someone who can do that. However, my recommendation for anybody who's going to be looking into Lander, if you're even considering using Lander for distribution or mastering or anything that Lander has to offer, you might as well subscribe to Lander Studio, which gives you your distribution that you're gonna want in the first place, but also everything else that Lander has to offer. They're gonna give you a piece of everything. Last but not least, there are music distribution companies that focus on the publishing side. So basically their draw to artists is if you distribute with us, we're gonna help you pitch your music to film. We're gonna help you pitch your music to video games. Any company who needs background music for their advertisement campaigns and things like this, the ones that I can focus on right now are going to be the ones that you probably heard of, which is United Masters, 
and TuneCore. Now, I would say if music publishing is your focus, then you want to kind of focus on these things. However, for every artist, including myself, publishing should be a focus of yours, if not now, at least some point in your career, because that's gonna be a bag that you can <laughs> rely on in the future. But just know that currently, not every distribution service offers publishing. Oftentimes, you have to kind of go to a different company to do that. But if you want something that can do both in one, you can look at TuneCore, which just revamped their pricing to yearly pricing instead of per release pricing. But the part that I wanted to talk about is the music publishing. This is going to be an extra $75 a one-time fee that you have to pay it's just one time and then basically as they're pitching your songs to these different companies if you land some of these different pitches you get 85 percent of the royalties that are collected from that opportunity and if you're opted into sync commission you're going to get 80 percent of those royalties collected so you do have to come out of pocket to sign up for something like this and you're giving up to 20% of your royalties to TuneCore. I'm someone that strongly believes in creating opportunities for yourself. This is an opportunity for you. If you choose to go with a company that has the resources to put you in a campaign like that, if publishing is what you wanna focus on, maybe your next release, try to think about releasing on a different service. Now, I know I didn't talk about every single distribution platform there is to use. I just wanted to touch on different ones and give some insight into what I think about them and how they can be utilized for different artists who have different priorities when it comes to their music. If you're somebody who's just starting out, you might wanna consider one of the free options like Koji. Or maybe you're someone who is a little bit further along in your journey and you just want something that's going to help you drive the most of your creation. Well, maybe you wanna think about Lander. I'm not gonna sit here and say which ones are better or worse for you. I'm kind of over that whole thing. Everybody has different journeys and everybody has different needs. I'm just here to present you the information and you choose. Which music distribution is right for me? Thank you.